how I do um, dust removal in Lightroom. So here is the same image. Um, the one on the left was a lab scan, which I actually prefer <laughs> in this case. And this is the digital camera scan. It's one of the few times that I think I actually preferred this one. Um, but they they both kind of suck. <laughs> so so let's just <laughs> address that elephant in the room. Okay. So what I do is I like to go into my develop module and I like healing. Healing's shortcut key is Q on a Mac. And I use the um, eraser. Okay. And then I like to do, do this thing where I visualize spots and it makes a huge difference. You can change kind of like the filtering, but you can see pretty quickly like, oh, okay, here are the spots. You know, here's where I see some, some dust and you can just go through and it's a lot easier in this case on like a sky because there's not a lot of detail that's like in the sky that could be misconstrued as dust. Um, but I just do that. And then depending on like, you know, sometimes there will be a hair that's missed somewhere. So I'll kind of like zoom in and I don't really see anything else. Keep in mind, like I said, this, is a this one is a lab scan. So this went through digital ice. Um, at the lab and there was still like hair on it Ooh, like I think there's oh no my eyes were playing tricks on me all right and here's the um, digital camera scan so I'm gonna do the same thing and you can see like before there was like a squiggle hair here and there's no squiggle hair here and that's just because that must have happened in the um, in the uh, in the scanner or something and then like come off afterwards um, so actually in this case I find that this this one was cleaner than the lab scan for some reason um, I must have done a really good job but that's how I remove dust in Lightroom um, oh, is this a cloud or is this yeah it's a cloud okay um, this see here this might this is technically dust but like I don't you know what do you yeah it's just sometimes it really does not matter and that definitely was never going to show up in a print or anything um yeah so this is how i do dust uh there are other softwares that you can run it through i don't use those um if you have any questions feel free to message me uh Obviously, there will be more dust if you have a really dusty negative, if you don't prepare your negatives ahead of time, if you don't prepare your workspace, if your negatives were wet when you started trying to, de to scan them. All of these are clearly autobiographical examples of things, dumb things I've done. Um, so you'll get better and better at getting the dust off so that you have clean scans uh, when you digital camera scan them. But this is all I'm doing for dust. Um, and that's if I if I feel compelled to. The ones that really bug me are the squiggly lines, like the hairs, um, but sometimes the dust is kind of like noxious. And yeah, if I think I might really want to do something with that negative, I'll like actually, I'll, you know, I'll go in and clean it like I did this one um, or remove all the dust. But sometimes I, I don't like on old negatives. For whatever reason, I find old negatives to be even dustier to rescan than um, than new ones. I don't know if that's like a photo flow difference or some sort of chemical, but but yeah, so on those, sometimes I don't because I'm just trying to digitize them so I have access to them again, but there you have it.